today I'm out in Brainerd, Minnesota with Chris Foley and uh, it's his son's graduation. I've got access to his track man and videos and things. So I thought I'd take this time to do a little case study and uh, hit a few shots trying to get you know, a real high ball flight, real high attack angle and dynamic loft. I got the track man set up. We'll go take a look and see how I do. Take a look. That one wasn't very good. Let's we'll see if Trackman even caught that. That was right off the bottom there. Okay, well here's what here's what Trackman had. I'll turn this so you can see better. Um, so there was a tech angle 10.5, dynamic loft negative two. I like I said I pretty much topped that. Um, you know, club head speed 106, so, you know, a full full swing. We'll play that for you just so you can see, you know, that, I, that I'm dealing with the reality of what just happened. And I'll try another one and see what happens. The fun thing about, you know, just trying things is it's not right or wrong. It's not did you do it good or not. You know, it's just seeing it. See what happens. There you go, you can clearly see me pretty much top that one. That one rolled uh, 47 yards. Attack angle plus 10. Let's start another one. You know, I'm not, I'm not out here trying to prove right or wrong. I'm just curious. You know, I have ideas and I have questions. I don't know if they're right, but we got some measuring things. We can see what happens. Now, admittedly, I'm not very good at doing it the other way, um, and I'm more curious about just see what happens this way. We'll see what happens. Then, you know, somebody else can do a weight most forward one and see how they do. Uh, that was a big slice to the right. Also not hit real well. Let's see what this one has. Well, certainly this isn't any way I would recommend anybody to play golf. Um, so this one had, you know, attack angle of 5, and a dynamic loft of 16, you know, again, 105, flew about 215 yards, but, you know, 105 feet to the right. Big slice. Let's try one more. Now it's quite possible, you know, that the other way can make it go higher with more loft. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just curious of what happens when I try to do it this way. Okay, so there's a high straight one, really high, really straight. Uh, let's see if Trackman got that one. Uh, let's see what we got. Alright, yeah, so this time we got uh, an 8 angle of attack and a dynamic loft of 21.7. We call that speed about the same, 105. Carry distance 250. Uh, launch angle of nearly 20 degrees. Um, you know that one, uh, let's see, it's, it's spin axis minus 2.5, just a slight little draw. But, so that, that's what I came up with when I tried to hit it with a lot of angle of attack and dynamic loft. Uh, I had some earlier today as high as 11, and dynamic loft as high as 25. You know, I, I certainly wouldn't play golf that way. And, uh, I certainly also think that it's possible to get more angle of attack another way. This was just the way that made me think, well if I can if I can figure out if I can get the lowest point the furthest back, then maybe I can get the most up. Um, 
we'll find out if that's true or not. Uh, I, I'd love to see some other comparisons. You know, I, I prefer to see ones that are done in real time just like this, because then I know someone's not trying to hide anything. Um, but this is the way I enjoy to do it. You know, make, make an idea, test it, see what happens. Um, now there's probably plenty of also ways to scrutinize my swing. You know, if I had done it a better way, maybe I could have gotten more. That's great. You know, I'd love to hear that too. Um, you know, but if, if, uh, uh, if anybody knows me well enough, you know, uh, I, I don't care what the answer is. And I don't care if I'm right or if I'm wrong. I just don't have a problem challenging my thoughts or others to see if we can both come up to a, a better understanding and then we can help everyone. Um, so that, again, this is just information gathering uh, uh, and speculation and, you know, thought. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, um, you know, I've got the whole playground here today. I might do a couple other things and see what I come up with and show that worthy too. Take care.